everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll see how to complete this challenge lab implement CI CD pipelines on Google Cloud so let's start the lab so let's proceed with task 1 set up environment enable APIs and create cluster so as part of task 1 we will be setting up the environment variables where we set the project ID project number region activate cloud shell you can open this in your window we need to export the project ID so I have copied the project ID here and I am setting the project ID to that and the U region is Europe West one so let's copy this go back to cloud shell so now it is updated if you get any error setting the project ID you can execute this command gcloud config set project and you can give the project ID here directly so once this is done next we need to enable the services in the Google Cloud project using the following commands so you can copy this command so we are enabling the services here so we have enabled the services container cloud deploy artifact registry cloud build so all these service apis are enabled now next let's enable the permissions for both kubernetes and cloud deploy using the following command so we will be setting up this im policy binding so let's copy this command so now this is set next we need to create the artifact repository create a repository for storing your docker containers name the repository CICD challenge so here we need to create an artifact repository by this name so we need to execute this command gcloud artifact repositories followed by create so we are creating the repository that's why we need to uh, pass this flag create so here we are providing the repository name and description you can provide image registry for tutorial web app and the repository format will be docker because we will be storing the docker container inside this repository that's why the repository format will be docker and the location we are passing this variable here so let's copy this you should get this output create a repository so once this is done create a google kubernetes engine cluster create two jke clusters for staging and production name cd staging cd production cluster should be single zone and single node so here we are passing gcloud container clusters create and the cluster name and the node location it will be europe west one number of nodes will be one and it is asynchronous so we are since we are creating two clusters we are passing two commands here so here we are passing cd production so let's copy this command it has created the staging cluster now it is creating the second cluster so now both the clusters are created now task 1 is complete let's proceed with task 2 build the images and upload to the repository clone the repository for the lab into your home directory using the commands below so first we will be cloning this repository to the local home directory then we will be seeding into that repository then we will check out this tutorial space so inside this uh, tutorial space we need to create this scaffold.yaml configuration using this command so first let's clone the repository let's copy this command now we have cloned the repository let's do ls so here you can see we have the contents here so here you can see we are on inside this path so when i do pwd it shows this path we are inside this tutorial space so here we need to create that configuration file so next we need to create this scaffold.yaml configuration using this command so let's copy this command so now it's created so if we go here cd web if we do ls so here we can find that yaml file so you can you can cat this file and read the configuration which is written inside this the web directory now contains the scaffold.yaml configuration file which provides instructions for scaffold to build a container image for your application 
Next, we need to run the scaffold command to build the application and deploy the container image to the artifact registry repository. Uh, so, we have already created this artifact repository. For that, we need to deploy the container image. So, you can just copy this command. I have already updated it here. We need to execute this command scaffold build and the repository path default repository and here I am passing the artifact repository path full path you need to pass it here and the file output will be artifact.json so let's copy this command go back to cloud shell execute it here so you should get this message build succeeded so it has executed all the steps which we had defined in that uh, scaffold.yaml file and it has built this container. So you should get this succeed message. So once that is run, you can go back here. So you can click on check my progress. So the container is created and it was added to the repository. So now this is complete. Now let's proceed with task 3. Create the delivery pipeline. Run the following commands to copy the pipeline template file. Create the delivery pipeline resource using the delivery pipeline.yaml file. So we are copying the yaml.template file into yaml file here. So let's copy this command. Go back to cloud shell. Let me clear the screen. Let's execute this command here. You should not get any error here. So if we do this cat of this config, so this delivery pipeline.yaml file contains the configuration which is required for this delivery pipeline. So let me clear the screen. Let's go back here. Next we need to set the deployment region using the deploy region configuration parameter. Then apply the pipeline configuration you created above using the gcloud beta deploy command. Verify the delivery pipeline was created using the command below. So for that, so once that is done, we need to set the deployment region using the deploy region configuration parameter. So for that, we need to execute this command. So let's copy this command and execute it here. Now that is complete. So next we need to apply the pipeline configuration. So for that, we need to execute this command gcloud beta deploy and apply and, and in, the, in the file we need to pass this file delivery pipeline.yaml file so this file we need to pass so let's copy this command execute it here you should get this message created cloud deploy resource so now it has created this delivery pipeline verify the delivery pipeline was created we can execute this command gcloud beta deploy delivery pipeline and describe so when we execute this command it will describe the pipeline which was created so you can execute this command and verify it if it is created means it will show the description of this so you should get this output delivery pipeline uh, so it shows this details about that Suppose that we need to configure the deployment targets. Two delivery pipelines targets will be created, one for each of the JKE clusters. Ensure that the clusters are ready. The two JKE clusters should now be running, but it's useful to verify this. Get the status of the clusters. So we can copy this. See here you can see unable to get target CD staging, unable to get target CD production. So since we have not set the uh, delivery pipeline target head, we are getting that message. Next we are performing that operation to set the delivery targets. So let's copy this command. Here we are checking the cluster status. So you should get this message CD production and CD staging are in running state. Next we need to create a context for each cluster. Use the commands below to get the credential for each cluster and create an easy to use QCuttle context for referencing the clusters later. Here we need to create a context for each of the cluster. We have two clusters right. One is a production and staging. We need to create a context for both of this cluster. So for that we So you can use this command. So in context, I'm setting this CD staging and CD production. Since we have these two clusters, I'm passing that name here. Then I'm creating a context for both of these cluster. So you can copy this command. So 
So see here you we have set the context for CD staging and CD production. So we are executing a for loop to create a context for each of this cluster. Once this is done, next we need to create a namespace in each of this cluster. Copy this command. So we need to execute this command to create a namespace in each of this cluster. So now it's complete. Next we need to create the delivery pipeline targets. Create a target definition file for each of the targets using the command below. Then apply the target files to cloud deploy. So for that you can go here. You can just copy this command. So here we are copying the target YAML template. So whatever configuration has been defined in this template file we are copying it into our target context.yaml file then we are deploying it. So here we are passing this deploy beta deploy apply and we are passing that file name here. So we are doing both of these operations at a time. So here we are just creating a target definition file and we are not deploying it. But here I have combined both of these steps into one. So we can just copy this and execute it here. So you should get this output created cloud deploy resource. So now this is complete. So next we need to create a release using this gcloud beta deploy release command and this release name should be web app 001 and we need to make use of this delivery pipeline. Once that is done we need to verify that the application has been deployed to the staging environment. So first let's create the release. So to create a release we need to execute this command gcloud beta deploy release create and the release name. So they have mentioned we need to create a release by this name and the delivery pipeline we have to make use of this. So that's why I'm passing this flag here delivery pipeline and the delivery pipeline name web app and build artifacts. I'm passing this web artifacts.json and the source will be web. So you can copy this command. So let's execute it here. So it has created this cloud deploy release by this name. After that we can verify if the application has been deployed to the staging environment by executing this command gcloud beta deploy rollouts list delivery pipeline name we need to pass and the release uh, release name this is the release name. So let's copy this command. The state here it is showing as succeeded that is how you verify it. You can now click on check my progress and this should be complete. So now this is complete. In task 5 we need to promote the application to production. Promote your application from the staging that is CD staging environment to the production CD production environment. So here we need to approve the deployment. We need to execute this command gcloud beta deploy release and we need to pass this promote flag here and the delivery pipeline name I am giving here web iPhone app and the release is web app 001. So let's copy this command. So this is pending approval. Let's approve this. So for this we need to execute this command gcloud beta deploy rollouts approve and then that release pipeline name and the delivery pipeline and this is the release. Since the uh, rollout is pending for approval we need to execute this command. Copy this command execute it here. Now uh, you can see this approving rollout. This approve process is complete now. So you can click on check my progress. This should be complete now. So this is complete. Now let's proceed with task this. Make a change to the application and redeploy it. Using the editor open the cloud de deploy tutorials. So this directory we need to open and modify the app.go file. We need to modify this app.go file. Change line 24 to say fmt. So this we need to make the changes. So let's perform the changes here. So let's go back to cloud shell here. You can click on open editor. So you can click on home directory here. So inside tutorials, inside base, need to go inside this. 
So here we need to modify this app.go file. So this is line number 24. So let's copy this, paste it here. So we have updated this file now. So this is app.go. So you should ensure that you are inside this path cloud deploy tutorials inside that tutorials then base then web inside that Lero iPhone app inside that app.go and under line number 24 you need to update it to this so just save this and you can open this cloud CLI let's clear this once it is done we need to build the application and push it to the artifact registry then create a new release on the pipeline which we had created earlier and we need to name that release as this web app 002 so previously we had executed the same command cd to the web directory and inside that we executed this scaffold build command and we need to pass this default repository this is the artifact repository name so full path you need to pass and the file output we need to pass it as artifact.json so let's copy this command go back to cloud shell so let's execute it here so you can see this message building Lero app it has started the build so now this build is complete so you should get this succeeded message so once that is done so next we need to create a new release on the pipeline and we need to name this release as web app 002 so for that we need to execute this command gcloud beta deploy release and create and since we are creating a new release we need to provide the name of that release here and the delivery pipeline will be same it will be web app and build artifacts we are passing it here let's copy this command execute it here so it's now creating this deploy release by this name so now this is complete so once that is done we are, finally we need to verify if a new version has been deployed to the staging environment so let's copy this command and execute it here under state it should be succeeded so you can find the details about this so next we need to roll back the change so let's copy this command so here we need to execute this gcloud deploy targets and rollback since we are rollbacking into the previous version we need to execute this command see here you should get this message rolling back target cd iphone staging to release web app 001 so this was the request now we have rolled back it successfully so once that is done you can click on check my progress so now this is complete so we have completed all the tasks in this lab so once you complete all the tasks in this lab you will get this skill badge implement CACD pipelines on google cloud so once you complete all the tasks in this lab you can click on end lab in the challenge lab few of the tasks didn't add the commands that needs to be executed so i have updated the solution in this github link you can refer to this github link when you are performing that lab so if you face any issues or difficulties you can let me know under comment section i will be happy to help if you found my video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel thank you all for watching see you in the next video